Yo, what's up, guys? This is Aprix here. Today, I have dressed up for a very special occasion because I'll be testing out all the Pokemon games in Skyland Nintendo Switch emulator for Android. Now, let me tell you guys that I won't be testing out like the Shield variant, Shining Pearl variant because those the result on both of those games will be same. Like the result with Pokemon Sword and Shield will be same. I'd also like to tell you guys that to play uh, games like Pokemon on Skyland emulator, I have made many tutorials. So I link few of them in the description box below. So without wasting any more time, let's get started with our testing. I have my IQ7 Legend. This is an flagship device with Snapdragon 888 processor. So all of the testing which will be done is being done on a flagship device. So the FPS results uh, might vary and depends uh, totally on your Android devices. So we have Pokemon Tournament DX. We have Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Pokemon Sword, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, uh, <laughs> Mystery Dungeon <laughs> Rescue Team DX. We also have Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. We also have Pokemon Legends Arceus and I'm just wondering what am I doing with my life sitting in a room talking about Pokemon games trying to play them on an emulator how low can you get right yeah well it's my job as one of the best emulation youtubers out there uh, to solve your query I guess so yeah let's begin with Pokemon Tournament DX the first game so first of all let me tell you guys that I'll be using custom Skyline emulator drivers I have already made a video on how to add custom GPU driver in Skyline emulator but for today's tutorial I'll be using Mesa Turnip Adreno driver latest version 9 because uh, this is good for fixing graphical issues and for best amount of FPS or speed you should use any one of these Qualcomm drivers so more on that in my custom GPU driver video which I link in description box below but anyways once that has been done let's start off by testing Pokemon Tournament DX now this is the demo version this is not the final game because the, just the demo version doesn't even boot in Skyline emulator then we have our fan favorite all time uh, one of the best games ever which is Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu which booted most of the games which go in game in Skyline emulator require a save file to go in game We'll just go to Android data and then scroll down until we find the Skyline emulator folder. So here I have already added lot of save files uh, of Skyline emulator. I'll just go ahead and copy it and paste it in my data directory. I'll just go ahead and replace, apply to all files and replace. So I have about uh, 60 MB worth of save files of all of these games. So if you have a save file, for example, if you want to play Let's Go Pikachu or test out games, then be sure to add save file in Android data, Skyline emulator, files, then go to uh, switch, then go to NAND, user, save, then this folder, this folder, then uh, you'll have to paste your game save folder right here. So I have loaded all of the save files and let's check it out again. Here we go guys, let's go Pikachu, let's click on the game and as you can see first try it booted with a full screen. So I'll just go ahead and click on the A button, we'll just go ahead and click on confirm and as you guys can see right here Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu is about to start on Skyline emulator. Now this is not new but the concept of Let's Go Pikachu being emulated with a custom GPU driver is new. So let's see uh, how well does the custom GPU driver works. It's supposed to decrease FPS but it's supposed to also fix few graphical issues. So I'll just go ahead and press the A button and let's see if it has actually fixed like the Dell graphics because if you have played a uh, Skyline emulator with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu then you know that the graphics tend to be very dull and as you guys can see the game has just booted on Skyline emulator and still the results are similar uh, so I don't see any change other than uh, the fact that the texture seems to be a bit crispier if you know what I mean so uh, yeah that's the only change which I noticed but if you guys know then I tested uh, this game on my low end android device in this video and the game ran with potato graphics it's pretty epic video you should definitely check out testing skyline emulator on low end devices so yeah pokemon let's go pikachu I would say 6 out of 10 experience but if you use a qualcomm driver then uh, the fps will go up by a few like you'll get uh, 13 14 fps and at few parts it will be smooth like inside house it will be just like 30 fps smooth gaming experience anyways uh, i have also skipped out games like let's go ev and also uh, let's go pikachu demo version just so you guys know now let's try playing pokemon sword this is very confusing part because if we just try opening pokemon sword in skyline emulator then at first glance you'll see that uh, the game will post close so there is like uh, the ftx in the ftx1 branch build if 
you try opening Pokemon Sword, then the entire device gets crashed. Uh, like literally, your entire device will crash because it will try opening the game. The RAM usage will go up by a lot, and then your device will just crash. It won't be able to handle uh, emulating Pokemon Sword. But still, the game is not yet playable. Just keep that in mind. We are still waiting for the uh, texture rewrite update where Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield and Brilliant Diamond are supposed to work. But with the Brilliant Diamonds, in Brilliant Diamond's case, let me show you guys. If we open Brilliant Diamond, uh, in any FTX1 branch build of Skyline Emulator, Brilliant Diamond will just show and black screen. In some cases, some people have also reported hearing uh, the game sound, but in my case, it, that hasn't happened. It will be stuck at 0 FPS and you will get a black screen. The same case goes with many of the Skyline Emulator's AAA titles, but for now, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond will give you straight up black screen. It won't crash, it won't give any like glitches, graphical glitches, it will be just black screen, which will again be fixed in the texture rewrite update. Now let's try out Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. This is also another Pokemon game which works in Skyline Emulator. So first of all, as we open it for the first time, you will see that uh, the FPS will be changing at the top left corner. And bro, what the heck is this bro? What am I looking at? Uh, I don't know. Okay, so the game started. <laughs> there was a weird graphical which wasn't present there before I used custom GPU driver. But anyways, let's just go ahead and click on resume dungeon purity forest 3f. Here we go guys, your adventure has resumed and I don't know guys, it's just giving me black screen. So I think this is driver specific problem so let me just go ahead and go to settings. So here we go guys, let's click on resume. Purity Forest 3F. Alright, as you guys can see, this game works with graphical output. Uh, and I am using Qualcomm driver, not Turnip driver, because with Turnip, I just got black screen. So, as you can see, we are getting about 8 FPS, which is not really good, but uh, the game is working perfectly. Uh, the graphical aspects of the game are perfect. So, all the moves, effects, etc., are present. So, let me just go ahead and go back. Let's try out Pokemon Sword again uh, with Qualcomm driver. And yeah, the result will be same. So here we go guys, as we tested Pokemon Brilliant Diamond as well, let's just move on towards the final game which is Pokemon Legends Arceus until <laughs> Nintendo decides to release another game which is Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and I'll have to spend money to buy that game too. I have seen this trailer too, I don't know how to feel about it so let me know in the comment section down below if you guys like Pokemon Scarlet or Violet. Uh, any of those, the legendary Pokemons are really amazing. But again, let's try playing Legends Arceus. I, I, I hope I clicked on Legends Arceus. I guess I didn't click on Legends Arceus. I don't know, man. Let's, let's just go ahead and click on Legends Arceus. Here we go, guys. Uh, straight up, same result as Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Zero FPS and yeah, so I'm guessing that after texture rewrite update, this game might also start working, which is really amazing, guys. Uh, but then again, texture rewrite update is taking quite a lot of time, and I don't want to talk about the ETA or you guys will be on Skyland Discord like, yo, bro, buy Frost or Aptrix gave an ETA for uh, texture rewrite update, and uh, he's not even developer. What? How? How? Yeah, bro, shut up. <laughs> like I just give uh, like my uh, personal opinion I'm not the developer again I tell you guys my opinion about when the game might start working when we might receive that update so yeah there is different between uh, estimated time of arrival which we call ETA and release date so yeah uh, don't get uh, that confused I hope that within next few months texture rewrite update is available for Skyline emulator so yeah that was testing uh, Pokemon games in Skyline emulator now let me tell you guys that let's go ev also works just like pokemon let's go pikachu let's go pikachu demo version also works in skyline emulator and the third pokemon game which works is pokemon mystery dungeon rescue team dx so yeah these are the three games which do work on skyline emulator if you guys would like to stay up to date with all the latest skyline emulator update videos then be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification but anyways that's it for today's video thanks for watching make sure like and subscribe stay tuned for more videos goodbye